Okay, so can you all see me? You're good, Dr. Lou. We can hear you and see you. Okay. Just give us one second, trying to get the equipment right here. A very good Sunday afternoon, my people. Let's start with our part one, deep breathing exercise. This breathing exercise is based on Taoist longevity. We call it Zhan Zhuang, right? Zhan Zhuang is that you stand in certain ways and you use your whole body to breathe, right? You bend your knees naturally, right? When you do this, you are doing what you are opening the six legs meridian lines, close, open, right? And then you make sure the pelvic, pelvic floor, you tuck your pelvic floor and you really feel your spine is like a tree outfitted, right? Up, and then you feel something is holding your head, only your head, your knee is like mountains deeply rooted, right? into earth and then your spine is free and that you give your spine a breathing chance to breathe and then put your arms and we're open up the six arm meridian lines with the two meridian lines on our spine Ren meridian lines right across here and we meet in Hui Yin Xue and by Hui start here, finish here. We'll do 10, we'll breathe in as deep as we can, breathe out as long as we can, right? Take very deep. We'll do 10 times together. So we relax our body, right? Our neck under our armpit, right? and relax the elbow, relax right here, and relax behind your knees. Now we're going to do our part two, our 10 energy movements. We'll do five movements of each. And we're gently interaction of yin and yang energy. Start with from Tian. Move up slowly. We are opening up our triple burner. Our 
from triple burner is the fascia system to help with the heart, lungs, liver system, our whole digestion, kidneys, bladder, and also reproductive organ system. A lot of people are afraid of cancer nowadays. So this is this movement is one of the best way to do cancer prevention. Really need to feel the really strength in your spine as well. The next movement this is an important point you're opening up your lungs and your colon and then the other thing is you are gently help your organ Two main organs in this movement, your liver and your lungs. To balance them. And now we have this fire and other source of pollution. And you should do this movements often. You can do that in your office, home office. Before you go out and take your walk, if you have you feel your lungs are heavy, or you have intestinal stagnation, right, or you feel liver pain, a good movement to do. Movements where stretching and opening and balancing and cleansing the whole gut system. One touch earth, the other reach, the other hand reach heaven. Like you have a plate in your hand. You are opening up your six arm meridian lines along with the whole gut energy. When we talk about gut, we're talking about the long tube from the moment we chew to the moment we poop. If people have either diarrhea or constipation, 
This is also a very good movement. If you have nausea, you have burping, you have any kind of digestion related symptoms, do this movement. This movement, we are strengthening the whole spine, your neck. A lot of people carry tension in their neck and cause lower back pain, upper back pain. And also, summer is a time to balance seven basic emotions. The more you can move your neck, the more flexible your neck is. The healthier you know your lymph system. This also helps to balance thyroid. And squeeze out the unclear toxins out of your lungs. We're balancing, we're creating a healthy interaction between the heart system and your kidney system. Further release toxins. And also, if you have anxiety, depression, Heart computation, AFib, a good movement to do. Relax and release the toxins. Protect your tongue, that's protect the heart. Now, watch your kidneys. Rinse out your kidneys and tendon. Again, this is the whole fascia movement. Slowly, we're going to do the liver. So some people ask me, can they do both, right? Can they 
do the first one, just pop, and then slowly move it back. You can. If that you feel that release more toxins, do it. Remember that five and a half seconds breathing rule. This is really one of the best way to reduce COVID blood. Because that is the result of the liver toxins. Now, the last one, if you have bladder still, gallbladder still. Kidney stones, any stones that you do this. Feel someone's pulling you up, drop you. Pulling you up, drop you. And then you feel the whole spine is pulling up, relax. So the whole fascia system. That detox. Because we have air pollution, we're going to do terrible things. Now, the next movement, we're going to exercise, relax, and stretch our tendon and op open the whole meridian line system. We're bring the heart, kidneys together through our spine. Also, we're stretching out our kidney system and our stomach system. This is for longevity. The first eight movement together. Feel your spring flowers. Just get loved by the very gentle way. Let your whole body relax.
Now we know what to do. Water. I have warm water with some lemons in it. When you drink water, make sure you drink slowly. We say we chew on our water, right? So really let it go through slowly. Okay. So anybody has uh, any questions about uh, 10 energy movements? If it's not, then we will start with our today's just a little bit chatting and teaching. And if you do, then Sarah will give a couple minutes to answer these questions. Um, Dr. Liu, I know just from clinic, some questions that come up regarding the 10 energy movements is how far to go beyond where, you know, someone might be having back pain or neck pain, and they want to go through the movements to improve the pain and range of motion, but they're not sure how far to push. So the whole, the, the basic rule is that you really just do as much as you can, right? If let's say the neck movement, if you say, oh, I can do this. When I do this, I begin to feel pain, then try a little bit and then just go back to center, right? So eventually you will be able to do what I do, right? Some people call me ow, right? But don't force it, don't force it slowly just you do it slowly if you say well how comes after a month i still but if you have neck pain we have specifically the exercise designed for help for help with neck pain so do that and then when you do the energy movement is slowly build up a foundation we have longevity we have time so the whole point is don't push it don't push it because every time if you push it, then you have a little pain, then don't panic. So first of all, don't push it. Then don't panic, right? Because every time if you push it a little bit, you will create more localized inflammation. More localized inflammation will cause temporary muscle spasm or pain. But that will pass. So if you just look, it's similar to anything else we do, right? How do you run five miles? By run 500 feet first, right? So by 150 meters. So just slowly build it up. So don't push it. When you do a little bit, then the next day you feel then give a warm towel and relax a little bit, right? If you have Beamer at home, use Beamer. If you don't, when you come to our clinic, make sure you raise your hands and say, well, I push a little bit. Now I have a little neck pain and Beamer or just a warm towel if you don't have anything else. And you can, summertime, you can put some shredded ginger when you warm your towel up and then put a little salt, put one teaspoon of wellness broth all in there to create a herbal base and then just that will reduce inflammation you just keep trying little by little that's the i hope that is helpful Sarah. that is very helpful dr Lou. and i love what you said actually about it really being a practice and it's just we can relax into it and cultivate it step by step hopefully master it one day <laughs> <laughs> you all will 
you all will. If I can do it, you all can do it. You have to believe that. Thank you, Dr. Liu. So should we start with our next phase teaching or? Oh yes, we are okay. all waiting. Okay, so summer health. This summer is, um, we have record, the earth has record, you know, temperatures, high temperatures. What will that do to all of us? Right. How do we navigate through? Because the outside, the nature, together, we walk away from nature, right? We make nature, earth ill. So now we must help others to realize what has been said for 5,000 years. We must be a part of nature. We must protect nature, then the nature can protect us. But now, now with record temperature, then what are the imbalances that will come with this? Not to say, well, we have air pollution, but just the record temperature with so much rain, right? Now we're in the hottest month of a year, supposedly, right? Because we have every Five days, we have a small term. Every 15 days, we have a bigger term. So now the term is supposed to be that we're in Zhong, we're in what is really supposed to be damp and heat. If the earth, if nature is have more dampness, have more this kind of rain and have more heat. So what will that do to our body? How do we prevent ourselves from getting ill? So several things, right? Summertime, each season, you have a big manager, right? And every day, every two hours, you have a small manager, right? So now in summertime, the big manager is our heart system. So when that happens, but the heart, how to, all the organ systems are designed to protect the heart. Right, we must understand that because we say the heart cannot be messed up. So all the system are help the heart system, but the heart sometimes can overtake the energy because it, you know, other easily cause other imbalances. So what are the things we will we should look for in the summertime? In the summertime, a lot of people will experience with dampness of the heat, will experience gut problems. So, hello, Afu. What can you do with kids? Afu came back, want to say hi? You want to say hi? Okay. All right. So, we must stop our teaching to say hi to Afu. Okay, Afu. We all can see you. Okay. Good. So then if you experience more gut imbalances, right? Um, a lot of times you just feel, oh, I just feel I'm so damp. That means when people poop, they have this really kind of sticky poop, smelly poop. Sometimes they will have stomach um, pain. Sometimes they will feel lack of energy and all these things are quite normal this month. So don't panic, right? Just do the energy movements and that will help to balance your energy and reduce the toxins. So, but to balance the heart health, several things I think that we should pay attention to is heart health has a lot to do with lung health, with a lot to do with gut health, with a lot to do with kidney health. So. The gut health, we mentioned a little bit. And how do we promote kidney health? Promote kidney health will have a good sleep habit and sleep hygiene, right? We sleep the correct hours, at least seven hours, right? And not make your house too cold. And I always keep my house 74 degrees. 
So our clinic also is 74. So not so hot, not so cold. So the outside inside should be just, if it's too uncomfortable for you, make it a little bit cooler, but not so much. That will help with the lungs and help with the heart. So summer is an excellent time, but also know the heart, we say, the heart and small intestines, they are partners. They work together. If how to, in summertime, the heart need more energy, we also need to really promote your small intestines, right? If people have bacteria overgrowth of that, you know how much discomfort that can cause you. But small intestines also have another role to to help people how to sort what is useful, what is useless information of the body, what is nutrients, what is toxins of the world, what is useful, what is useless. So sometimes when people say, I can't really tell what is it what, then you know, oh, that your small intestines, then do the exercise that will help to balance that. You know, the energy movement, this energy movement will do the colon massage, intestinal massage, that will also help with that. And then, but I do today, I want to uh, talk a lot more about the lung health because to talk about the heart health, that the heart, think about the heart is the emperor. The lungs will be the minister, will be the cabinet, right? That really supposedly to protect the heart of harming itself. To say, hey, are you sure you want to do that? So, but this is unfortunately the past four years with COVID and uh, our lungs and our blood system and inflammation, all these things got really got weakened. So, if people have mild COVID blood, that means their blood is not as pure as it should, have this little granule type of gloomy type of things in there already. On the top of that, now we have the pollution. We have those little particles we couldn't really see get attached into our systems. So what we do, right? So that's why we see a lot of um, asthma patients. We see a lot of People have chronic cough, they feel heavy in their lungs, and they feel an obese. But this is something that we can help people to um, use simple steps to prevent that from getting worse. But before that, I, I do want to uh, just talk, go back to the heart system, because summertime also is a great time to meditate, because your young energy is out. Young energy is out to really supposedly to guide you. So the summertime is a time of really seek um, joy and happiness. So one of my old monk um, mentor and um, teacher. So when people ask him and says that, um, how do we have you know good days? I don't want bad days, I only want good days. And he said, we don't really evaluate as good or bad, right? So, so just in traditional Chinese medicine, what is proper? What is it if your energy flow like that, you have a smooth flowing day or you have stagnant day, that's how we measure. But he said, if you must evaluate in this earthly way with what a good day, what is a not a good day? How do you get a good day? He said, here, I have some advice for you. He said, well, that means when you speak, you speak mindfully with good intentions and also know how to communicate, right? Um, how can I serve you? How can I help you? doing fine right and um, I really like how you did that if you try to give a criticism 
and make sure you give it in a balanced way. But that doesn't mean a lot of people are saying, I only praise people, but that is not right. That is not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is to speak gently, to speak what you mean, to speak from your heart, to speak from your mind, right? So he says, if you speak, you speak like this. The actions, be kind. Do something kind every day for yourself and for others. When you say, well, you know, I just don't have time for myself, then you're being unkind. Then give yourself time just to relax a little bit, to say, well, I want to be kind to myself. I'm going to do energy movements. I'm going to zip a warm lemon ginger water in summertime. I'm just going to wait for my poop to come before I run out of the door. All these things you do, I'm just going to please my senses of making a really nice summer meal for myself. All these things are kind things to do, you can do to yourself. And then also do these kind things to others. So, you know, one of our patients and she is not able to move yet her legs. So we have the other patient and she just took her to our clinic. So I just thought, what a kind, what a kind thing to do, right? So, you know, when we, the other day, we saw this um, a patient that have ALS, just before he comes in, there are three people running out to open the door for him. So I just said, you know, what a kind thing to do, because that you have touched somebody's soul by doing that. And we see a lot of that in our clinic. Um, so... So, and then third is Changfanxing, is always that have self-reflection. What could I do a little bit differently to have a different outcome? What can I do to change things, right? That self-reflection comes from self-cultivation, right? Because we can really change others. We can, however, Slowly change ourselves. Confucius once said, <laughs> "Every day I'm a renewed person, right?" And uh, in in um, in my teaching, in this um, a healing um, that we says, well, you gotta really just always reflect, right? If people do not reflect, then they do not know how to cultivate themselves. So have that self-reflection often before you point that finger to somebody else. What you did, right? Um, and then Chang Huan Xi is that every day just give a big smile. So when I was young, that my grandmother. So we go to this small lake every day together. We, so she often said to me, this is a lake of happiness. I said, how? She said, you know, if you look into the lake, you will see a very big smile. And I, I said, well, that's my face. She said, that's it, good, <laughs> that's it. If you have that big smile on your face, that is contagious. If you have that sorrow and frustration in your case, well, that is also contagious. So let's make sure we give each other and ourselves that big smile. So then that one we say is, you know, 说好话,行善事,常反省,多欢喜, right? And now you all can speak. This monastery language with me. So then give a try. That will nourish your heart and that will make this summer much more joyful. So now 
let's move to our lungs. So what can we do to protect ourselves from the air pollution? Ah, we have this whole chapter. I have this ready for many years, right? Because in India, in China, in many Asian countries, the air pollution has been worse for years. So I have all these tricks, um, but we just never really need to use that. I thought here, but now finally I can use those tricks. So one thing I would advise people to do if that fits you is that oil pooling, right? Because the membranes in your mouth that behind your mouth, that is the region that will connect with the sinuses, connect with the ear canal, connect with the throat. So, and also that will give you a chance to practice really breathe in from your nose, not your mouth that much. So I use coconut oil. If you don't like coconut oil, you can use sesame oil. So have a big, big full teaspoon of how to be solid, right? Put in your mouth and then for 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. So when you do that, I often do that when I feed my birds. You know, I go out, bow to everyone. That also that because I like to chat with them. Um, this is also give me opportunity to listen, not to block. So um, I have been really enjoyed since the air pollution has become quite uh, severe here. I've been really enjoyed doing that. I do 20 minutes every day with half teaspoon of herbs plus one big teaspoon of solid coconut oil. And um, the whole key is please do not swallow it because that is toxic, right? And then you spit it out. And um, I just spit it out in the earth. And then I use a little bit of warm water and uh, with a little bit of salt water. Um, just to rinse it after that. So I do oil pulling, and uh, if outside is really bad, then I use herbal steamer to steam my eyes and steam my nose. So we have the herbs uh, in our clinic. If you feel you have either you have sinuses problems, asthma, and all these, uh, you feel, oh, I am a runner, and uh, I walk outside a lot, I am out a lot, so that's necessary. And if you are not, then sometimes then you can just use some warm water to steam, and that will, you know, that won't do the trick if outside is really bad, but that will be helpful. And then the other thing is learn, always learn to breathe in from your nose, right? And then a lot of people have this insane habit of pull their ear, that little hair out of their nose. I don't know why people are doing that, or they're poking their nose. Leave your nostrils alone. Let those little hairs, they are like um, the little forest, right? They help to um, detox you. They help to filter those toxins. So let them do their work. Don't just cut them down, don't do that. So um, then just learn to breathe in from your nose. If you breathe from your mouth and do some oil pulling, then you have created a layer of protection to your membrane there. So these are the things that I think is going to be very helpful. You will thank me now and later. And also do your energy movements because you see these small movements will protect your lungs quite a bit, right? And um, um, and then the other thing is walking. Don't be afraid, go outside, walk outside. 30 minutes, that will help with the brain health, that will help the whole fascia, that will also help to detox because you are sweating them. You are gently sweating. In summertime, sweat is our friend, right? We sweat out. And why we sweat out a lot on our armpit? You see all those important lymph parts, they are sweating out. That means they need to be 
relax and they need to be detox. So don't fight it. So do these things and that will help to um, move. And then the other thing, make sure every day our wellness broth, that is important. And also we now everybody has a tool, right? Do the Moravian Lab Petting. That also is important to do, to really open up the Moravian lines to release toxins. So if you do that, we will go through this, you know, air pollution time without getting ourselves harmed. So I will leave a little bit of time for questions. Thank you so much, Dr. Lou. Uh, just a really quick question regarding the oil pull. Um, we have a question whether that includes like a gargle in the throat or just the mouth. Uh, your mouth and before you spit up, you you gargle, but you have to make sure you don't swallow it. If you are not sure, then just your mouth is fine. If you are a probe, then you can gargle your throat. And then when you spit and then you use the salt water to really just kind of help to get rid of the residuals, your gargle as well. Do not swallow, that's the key. Thank you, Dr. Liu. I'm really glad you touched on the point of not being afraid and being able to go outside and being in nature and continuing with our routine. Um, I know that a lot of clients we had um, in clinic were really not sure how to navigate. Um, I know some were masking, some were turn, you know, closing the windows, and there definitely was that fear element. And I think, you know, considering that we're not so far removed from COVID either, I imagine some of that was also very triggering. Um, so, I guess. So um, if the pollution is bad, you know, after 30 minutes walk, when you are in, if you don't have a lot of grown trays, you know, like my garden, I have so many grown trays that just filter through. So if you don't have that, close your windows and use air filter, it's all, it's all good, but uh, don't be afraid. We need to go out and walk because what would be the worst than air pollution is isolation and uh, stagnation. So, but do that, right? We have, we have know-how. If you do that, the people that they live in pollution for years, these are, it's not pulling out of my head. Right. It has a long tradition in India and in China. People have been doing that. They keep themselves well with their lungs, with their the whole system, the sinuses, the mouth and eyes. And so, um, Dr. Wu, I know when we were in China together, I remember on a very, very hot day, we had very hot soup. <laughs> And you yeah. said this was a really good way to get rid of the heat and to induce that yes. sweat. So can you tell us a little bit if there are specific things you would recommend um, if people aren't able to get out and move as much? How do we sort of keep that movement happening? So then you really in summertime is a good time to eat a lot of warm soup. So you can eat a little bit spicy soup as well. The real sweet and sour soup, that is a good way and tomato, eggs, and um, those are, let's put some cilantro in it. That's our good ways to detox because that really will open up. You are cleanse the whole gut system and because the young energy is out. So you really need to have some warmth to nourish what's inside because the inside is kind of on the cooling side. So a lot of people in summertime drink one of the worst thing you can do is drink ice cold water because then you are shocking your system. Then you are likely to have indigestion. And then summertime sweat is your friend. So and when you go with friends and all try to sweat out, when you all smell the same, nobody will complain. That's awesome. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> Lou, I guess we're almost out of time here, but um, you opened this segment today with this idea of self-love and taking the time to really um, kind of look within and, and treat yourself in the maybe smallest of ways. Um, it, it's just, it made me smile just even hearing you say that it may seem so basic. Um, but I, I'm wondering if you can talk a little bit more about that and why that's so important um, for our health. Yes. We either help to create a positive change, right? That's the energy of healing. And that is more a more balanced energy or we create an imbalanced energy together. So, but the little things you do can really change a big direction, can really lead your day in a different direction. So, but the first is um, you must respect yourself and give gratitude. Think about we are last lifetime we don't remember next lifetime we don't know yet we have only this lifetime we are given the opportunity to be a human being to be a whole manager of other species and to help to balance the earth what a great opportunity we should just wake up to say wow i'm you know i'm alive i'm wake up and uh, I am the manager of the earth. And how joyful that is, right? And just give yourself a big smile. Be respectful to yourself and to others. Be grateful to yourself and others. So we can do that. It's not hard. It really isn't. If we just do kind things to ourselves, to each other and give ourselves encouragement, give others encouragement, really do more of reflection, right? And also just like my grandmother said, well, that is the leg of happiness. Look at who is smiling. I am. So I want you all to join me to look at the lake, to look at that and to say, wow, who is smiling? We are happy summer, happy summer, my people. And like I said, we will navigate through with all kinds of things, no problem. <laughs> that is truly contagious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Liu. Thank you for your time and for your wisdom and for your kindness and laughter. Thank you so much. Until next time, people, and be well and go out and do what we just learned together. It will be just fine. Until next time. Thank you so much. It's just wonderful. Thank you, Dr. Liu. Thank you, Sarah. So wonderful to see you.